Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Thank you for joining us today, Jada. Would you like to introduce yourself and your own uh, career path and how you came to be doing what you're doing at the moment? Sure. Um, actually, uh, I'm working as a sustainability consultant in Turkey, uh, in Ankara, which is capital city of Turkey. And uh, the sustainability career was uh, uh, was it actually a bit uh, um, how can I say that uh, is a different story for me because I was working uh, in a big holding company as uh, corporate communications uh, responsible and uh, the sustainability issues were responsible of that communication department. There was no separate department. And uh, the, uh, the job that I did uh, actually lead uh, me to, uh, to have an education about sustainability. So uh, I got a master degree from Steinberg University, responsible management program. Uh, so my sustainability career starts at that point, actually. Uh, actually, I wanted to uh, establish a separate department uh, in that holding company, but uh, they didn't let such kind of thing. So uh, I just quit from there and uh, start up a new company uh, and work as a consultant now. This is my career path. Uh, there are so much uh, opportunity in Turkey about sustainability consultancy uh, because uh, most of the companies has no separate departments about sustainability, but they are required sustainable uh, practices by financial institutions, banks, and uh, by other stakeholders. So uh, they have a lot of practices, but uh, there is no separate departments inside of the company. Actually, I guess there are uh, 10 or 15 companies have separate departments, but the rest, uh, they are trying their best uh, by their uh, communications departments. Uh, and sustainability uh, is not very strategic part of their business. Uh, that's the reality. Uh, they are demanded some practices and they are trying to do their best. But uh, as far as from my, uh, from my observations, I can say that uh, sustainability is their basic management strategy of Turkish companies. Uh, when you uh, see their websites, uh, there are some philanthropic uh, practices under the heading of sustainability. Mm, they contribute financially to schools or hospitals, uh, such kind of uh, philanthropic practices, and uh, they communicate these practices under the name of sustainability. So I can say that sustainability is very strategic management uh, issue in Turkey. So can you tell us then, um, in your capacity as a consultant, some examples of companies and projects that you do in order to bring sustainability into those clients' work um, whether to help them with their communications or whether uh, to actually help to build sustainability strategically into the companies. Can you tell us some of your examples and, and projects that you've done? Sure. Uh, Borsa Istanbul, which is stock exchange company in Turkey, uh, they work so hard to uh, make sustainability as strategic for companies in Turkey. And there is sustainability index in Turkey. Uh, so companies uh, started to uh, uh, started to uh, fulfill the requirements of this 
sustainability uh, index, uh, which lead them to uh, make sustainability in more strategic position. Uh, so uh, the criteria or requirements of sustainability index uh, are very important actually for my own business. Uh, they force companies to uh, measure their impacts and uh, communicate their uh, communicate their practices, uh, not only verbal but also numerical. Uh, so uh, they started to publish uh, their sustainable reports regularly. And the content of the reports uh, become more qualified. Uh, so sustainability index is very good force for uh, sustainable practices in Turkey. It's very uh, crucial because uh, if you don't force companies, uh, they just say, okay, it's it's good, it's good. Uh, we have to protect. Uh, environment, we have to protect our workers, uh, so on, but uh, they don't want to spend money on such issues, right? Uh, but if there is a uh, force, then they do this. So uh, sustainability index is a good uh, starting point for making sustainability uh, more strategic. Um, and what, um, some... what, what changes have you seen then in the companies since the boss has in, introduced the sustainability index? Have you seen some visible changes? I mean, there's obviously transparency, it's, it's a more transparent uh, regime um, and it can hold companies to account. Um, what kinds of changes have you seen as a result of that initiative? Uh, the biggest change is uh, the, there are uh, separate departments uh, for sustainability issues. Uh, this is the biggest uh, change. Uh, and the second important change is uh, they share more uh, uh, numerical data. So uh, transparency uh, also improved. And uh, the and the uh, I don't see that so much, but some of the companies, uh, some of the companies CEOs or other executive managers uh, talk about more uh, more about uh, sustainability, you know, in their interviews or uh, in the meetings, uh, their conscience uh, really improved. So it's an, another important change, I think. Uh, what can else? Yes, we can say that transparency gets higher points. So. And what, so we can maybe say that the boss in Turkey um, is acting as an, what we might call an institutional entrepreneur uh, in the sense of making changes to its own practices, its own regulatory uh, requirements that have a knock-on effect to bring the companies into line, if you like. Why, what motivated them, do you think? And was it a particular individual or was it an initiative or was it um, a request from government? Or where did this uh, motive and driver come from within the boards to set up this initiative? Mm -hmm. uh, the government is uh, is not an important actor for sustainability. First, I have to say that. Uh, but there are some uh, initiatives which uh, create driving forces for companies. Uh, first one is UN Global Compact Turkey. Uh, they really work hard uh, to uh, increase the conscience and. Uh, correct practices, let's say, 
uh, they really work hard and they publish so many guidelines for companies. Uh, second, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, sustainability index is a big motivation for companies. And uh, I think uh, in 2015, uh, sustainability index uh, required from banks to measure companies' uh, environmental impacts before uh, providing loans. So, uh, in very near future, if companies do not care about their uh, environmental, environmental impacts or social impacts or economic impacts, uh, they will not able to uh, uh, ha have financial sources. So uh, I think it's a very crucial uh, point for motivating companies to become more sustainable. So you seem to be saying there's a systemic effect on a company's ability to raise funds and finance for itself um, that, it, that it helps if they are doing well in the sustainability index, they're more likely to be able to raise resources for themselves in order to carry out their activities. Exactly, exactly. Uh, also, there are some, yes, but uh, there are some uh, universities, but uh, two or three universities only, uh, study sustainability. Uh, one of them is very famous, and that university uh, study sustainability under the name of corporate governance. Uh -huh. uh, and they have plenty of students uh, who are interested in sustainability. So uh, again, in near future, maybe five or six years, uh, there are uh, really good qualified uh, workforce will be in the market. So in the near future, uh, there are uh, educated uh, workforce will also increase the uh, good practices in Turkey, I think. Oh, that is really fascinating. So it actually gives me a pass mm -hmm. into the, my final question then. So um, we have a picture of um, sustainability in Turkey from the corporate's point of view and the systemic effect. Um, a number of push-pull factors, the boss, uh, the ability to raise finance, and now you say about the development of an um, educated and qualified sustainability workforce. Um, so yeah. can, can you imagine then, let's take that idea of a future pen portrait five years, ten years into the future, where do you think things are moving for Turkey and its companies in terms of sustainability, responsibility, and ethics? I think it's, it will be uh, like in Europe. Uh, Turkey is still improving in many ways. Uh, it's economics, it's political. Uh, uh, th there are some uh, problematic uh, points uh, about politics in Turkey, uh, and whole world is aware of that. Uh, in spite of that problems, uh, companies, uh, I think, uh, will be better about sustainability issues because uh, they collaborate with European companies, they collaborate with uh, uh, American companies. This kind of uh, Collaborations force companies to uh, to become more sustainable, right? Because uh, there are some universal standards about ethics, about uh, environmental issues. So uh, they have to fulfill these requirements. Uh, the governmental, uh, you know, low uh, low qualified requirements uh, will not stop that improvement. Uh -huh. But I can say that only for big companies. Uh, small and medium companies' improvements will take time, more time, I think. 
because there's, uh, you know, sustainable practices requires uh, financial sources and uh, small and medium uh, companies have, uh, doesn't have that kind of financial sources. So it will take time, I think, but big companies uh, will be very successful in, let's say, five or seven years because uh, improvements are done very quickly. Requirements are uh, become more strict and strict each year. Uh, in 2012, uh, there was no requirement for banks uh, to uh, measure companies' environmental impacts before providing loans. But last year, uh, in just three years, uh, they put such kind of requirements, strict requirements for providing financial resources to companies. So the improvement is very quickly. And what kind of form would you see that improvement making? Um, for example, you mentioned at the beginning a, a kind of transition from seeing it as a communications activity from a communications department to maybe separate departments for sustainability. So that would be one possible um, structural organizational change that you might foresee. Um, what other kinds of forms do you think this shift will um, embody in terms of organizational changes or changes to practice? Um, how do you think it will actually operationalize, if, if you like, within organizations? Uh, when sustainability become a management issue in real terms, uh, so every department of a company will affect from that. And uh, sustainability uh, will not be something separate uh, in the organization. You know, uh, today in most of companies we see that sustainability is something different that should be deal with. Uh, but I think in the future, uh, sustainability become very natural part of their business uh, processes. So uh, every uh, single personal personnel in the company will be aware of that. I think it's an important shift because uh, if you ask, uh, financial department, uh, what is your sustainable strategy? They can answer this question today. But in the future, uh, I think they will answer that question uh, without looking their sustainability report or uh, cheating from someone. <laughs> so they'll internalize the knowledge in a way. It will be part of their knowledge base. Um, and they'll internalize that into the, the things that they know, exactly. know about. Okay. Exactly. Well, Jada, I mean, that, that's been really fascinating. We're just about to come to the end of, the, of this conversation. I'm really grateful for you joining us from Turkey to Manchester. Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your experience or your advice to participants on the, on the MOOC, um, you know, about your experiences or how you know how you think they should proceed if they're interested in a career in uh, sustainability mm -hmm. responsibility or or, the, or this field um what advice would you give yeah. them uh first of all it's my pleasure to discuss uh this issue with you um my advice is um uh, they have to seek opportunities you know uh europe uh, it's okay. It's Europe is very saturated market for uh, developing sustainable issues because uh, in Europe uh, the uh, the improvement started uh, very early and now they are really improved companies. But in Turkey, it's not the situation. So there are so many. Uh, uh, opportunities in Turkey in uh, environmental issues, social and also economic impact. So uh, 
I think Turkey is a rising star for sustainability market. And, <laughs> and also, uh, I have to uh, say that because I forgot uh, this point. Uh, some companies are uh, some companies afraid of uh, being lost their credibility by sharing uh, numerical data or uh, other kind of sustainable sustainability uh, information. Uh, I just want to encourage them not to be afraid of uh, uh, share information uh, because if you have problem with an environmental or other kind of uh, issues, the the other companies also uh, experience that problem too because uh, the uh, the problems or obstacles uh, are similar for all the companies. So uh, sharing them is not uh, is not a uh, cause for losing credibility. Uh, it's it's about uh, sharing information of how to cope with a, a similar obstacle or problem. So uh, as as long as uh, companies are sincere and uh, want to uh, improve, I think it's okay to share any problem or any failure. Uh, about practices. So there is nothing to uh, be afraid of this. Uh, if uh, if they are more, uh, you know, courage, I think uh, better improvements will be success. Well, Jay, that was really fascinating. And thank you for that very positive note at the end there, that by sharing and improving their knowledge uh, their competencies and, and companies having faith that, that sharing will actually help them all to share experiences and, and all therefore improve. That's a really lovely positive mm. note to finish on. And uh, I thank you for joining us, Jada, and thank you very much indeed. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Also, I'm sorry for my very, very bad pronunciation and <laughs> my poor English. Uh, if I confuse you with my uh, with my words and bad choices, <laughs> I, I'm really sorry for it. Perfect, and precisely because we're um, hoping people will participate from around the world, um, your your accent is a joy to listen to and is much better than my accent in any any language. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Very much. Say bye bye. Bye-bye.